Our northern adventure saw us cover 14,000 kilometres. We encountered a wide range of road and weather conditions. Towards the end of this video, I will give you an idea of some of the issues that we encountered. Each of the map numbers relates to the video number of the series already online. It is essential that your vehicle and trailer are in top condition. Make sure that your car has been recently serviced and has no lingering problems that could flare up later. Ensure that your tyres are new or near new. It is probably a good idea to carry two spares. Make sure that your shocks and springs are operating properly. It is probably a good idea to upgrade your suspension before you go. A 12 volt car fridge is essential. You cannot count on ice supplies so an esky just won't cut it. As I don't have a drawer system, I built a box around the fridge. This protected the fridge and allowed for more efficient packing. Each of our three cars had its own fridge and we had a communal freezer. Here is a list of other essential equipment that I wouldn't think of doing a trip like this without. It is also good practice to go through a daily checklist on your vehicle before moving off each day. Leaving Adelaide, we drove on the sealed Stewart Highway all the way to Darwin. From Darwin, the road is all bitumen except for the sections into Lake Argyle and Pernalulu. Once you leave El Castro, the corrugated section of the Gibb River Road begins. It ranged from quite good to bone jarring. If you are lucky enough to be following a grader, it can be quite reasonable. The road out to Mitchell Falls was easily one of the worst we did. This section is again corrugated road, but bitumen the last 100 k's into Derby. The road from Broome to Beagle Bay is extremely rough but will be bitumen by 2021. No roads here, obviously, but try and organise your trip by pre-booking so that you can leave when you arrive in Derby. Broom to Halls Creek is all bitumen, but the Tanami track, well that's a different matter.
The road from Alice to Glenhillen Gorge is all bitumen. Roads in the Flinders Ranges range from bitumen to fairly well maintained dirt. Any rainfall of more than about 10 to 15 millimetres will result in closed roads in the Flinders Ranges. So what damage do we do? I carried two spares and didn't need either of them. It is important to air up or air down depending on the road conditions. We regularly found things had come loose in our morning checks. We did break the aerial mount and a roof rack support. Other than that, we did pretty well. Well, as they say, you're a long time dead. A trip to the Kimberley is on most people's bucket list. My advice is simple. Stop talking about it and do it. It's very difficult to put an actual cost on what we did. I didn't keep record of fuel costs because I figured it costs what it costs. We topped up with fuel at every opportunity and having a long range tank never looked like being short. I do know that even towing a camper trailer we averaged less than 15 litres per 100k. We did do a lot of extra things, boat cruises and the like, but then you're most likely only going to go there once. I hope that this series of videos and this final summary video have enthused you to go to the Kimberley. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for further adventures.